Welcome back to another episode of Jesse Rosinski Show. I'm in a good mood. Hopefully you're in a good mood. And today I just want to talk about all of these executive orders that have happened so far. And other things. You know, this is going to be a weekly depression. Compression? Whatever. Of everything that's happened. One, before we start out, is I'm super happy that nothing happened. At least not in D.C. You know, we saw the craziness in, I believe it was Baltimore Port. Not Baltimore. Denver, Portland, and Seattle, where we like some of the, where we saw the great people of Antifa attacking the DNC buildings, like Democrat buildings, because they don't like him either. Which proves like they just were out like they're just like I said they are terrorists. They are domestic terrorists, and they need to be treated as such. They should have been treated as such for a very long time. They didn't, but right now, like they're doing all this still. Make it even. You're going after all the people from the Capitol. Go after these people, too. Because they've been at it for months and months. And go after all the people from the riots, too. Like, we're, what, four months away? Roughly, from when they first started. They should all get got. Wish I had a better phrase. But I don't. Like, they should get what they deserve. Because there are people, like... All the looters, rioters, everyone. Because there were peaceful protests during the day. And then when the curfew hit, all hell broke loose. And there were crazy people all over all of it. Like anyone that had eyeballs could see it. The people that were torching buildings and throwing Molotov cocktails at cops, punching police horses in the face, throwing frozen water bottles, bricks, which were all laid out and planned and orchestrated, ready to go. To attack the blinded federal agents with lasers, like all of them. They should go after all of them. If you don't think they should go after all of them, well, there's something wrong with you. I can't see my hands, but it's the same thing as what happened. Like, we should go after all of them. If we want unity, go after everyone equally. Stop the crazy. Discourage the crazy. Start showing that if you do something, something bad's going to happen. I mean, I think they're months behind with that, but... And the people that say, well, they're leftists, Antifa, so they're not going to go after like their own people. It's like, well, Trump people, the crazy right was attacking police officers, federal cops, yeah, capital policemen, and attacking them. Which proved, like, anyone, like, the far extreme group of any party will go after people. No matter what they are, because they don't believe in nothing. They're just out there to get theirs because they're extremists and they're crazy. We should stop all of them because they do nothing good for the people. That's just my piece. We should be everyone's. If they're going to attack people, we shouldn't give them the time of day. We should just arrest them for doing terroristical things. I think anyone with a conscience can agree to that. Sadly, most people don't feel that same way somehow, which is disheartening, but they should. Two, Mr. I'm not going to go and do anything with, you know, current fracking and all that. I'm just going to go after, you know, new ones. Well, he's paused all the ones that are going on. Like, there's no more. The Keystone XL Pipeline, gone. That's over 10,000 jobs just for my side. I think there were 7,000 more that were supposed to be hired this year to keep doing it. And over 1,000 Canadians, with all the money they had into it, that got stopped by him doing that. Which, in the middle of a pandemic and all that, you know, it's going, you know, they, I get it if you get rid of them. Because everyone in the left, they go and make, you know, jobs, you know, the green energy, you know. Like, then it's okay. But they're not making it. They just stopped it. So all those 10,000 people are done. Plus, 10,000 plus. They're just done. There's no green new job. It's just done. They're getting thrown into the unemployment system, which is already overwhelmed. And it doesn't help anything. Like, it doesn't take a big brain to figure that out. Like, they're screwed. And right now, jobs in a lot of states are hard to come by. Especially with the end of the second strain of COVID being in Europe, it's getting Brazil and places, it's going to be here sooner or later. What do you think they're going to do? They're going to shut it down even harder, in my opinion, and we'll be screwed. And 
you know, I just, I have a hard time, like, accepting that. Like, it's one thing to get rid of energy independence, which we haven't been, like, pretty much ever. But just to kill them without replacing their jobs at all, like they said they were going to do, is nuts. It's not good for the economy. It's not good for our energy. It's not good for our gas prices. It's not good for our utilities. It's not good for anything. So that's not going to help anything. Call me crazy all you want. Look at me. Most people think I am. But, you know, it's stuff like that that, you know, makes this the way it is. Which is everything I was saying forever. What they're going to get rid of them. They're not going to have anything ready to replace them. And we're going to be screwed for a very long time. If they're trying to go off the California thing, like they have rolling blackouts. Because just doing green energy, you cannot sustain the grid. No matter where you are, for the amount of people that they have to be on it, it's just, it's not feasible. And, you know, that's a whole other story for a whole other day. But, in this first week, three days, well, this is the third day, of the Biden presidency, that doesn't work. Also, the whole thing about, you know, he's all for women. He said he wasn't. Trump hated women. He was all for women. Trump was a chauvinist. He's not. Like, and what he's done so far is make it so transgender people can go into whatever bathroom they want, whatever. I don't think it's right. We don't have to agree. They can do whatever they want. I'm not against transgenders. They can do whatever they want. Just like the gay community, black community, Hispanic, anyone, no matter who you are, you can do whatever you want. As long as you don't push it on other people, to include me, do what you want. But there's, you know, like, once you go and say, like, they can go and compete, like... In female sports, it's like they are still biologically male. Like they have the extra testosterone because it's flowing through them because, you know, they're male. Like in all that, like they're going to have a superior advantage in female sports. So I don't like, the, what does that do to make equality for everyone? That means females right now, like the women that he talked about loving so much, are now going to be at a disadvantage in their own sports because there's going to be people that are biologically men with all that testosterone and all that extra muscle, not like we've been through biology like enough in the world, like to understand they're going to have them being in their sports. And we've already seen, like, they just get slaughtered because that extra testosterone builds extra muscle, builds everything. Like, it's just we're built differently. Like, I don't think, I mean, like, men wouldn't be allowed in female sports, really. So why the transgenders? Why? Because they got the same makeup. Like, I'm sorry. Like, you could hate me for saying that, but what does it do for females if you're all for females and all that? It doesn't do anything. It's just going to hurt them in the sports world because they're going to have, you know, actual physical men that are transgender in their sports and just beating them left and right. We've already seen it before, years ago. We already saw it. So it's not me trying to bring up anything new or being mean or anything. Like, again, I am fully for you being whatever you want to be. Whatever makes you happy, as long as you don't push on people, whatever. But taxpayer dollars should not be there to do it. And you shouldn't be able to take over the sex you want to be sports if you're biologically a man because we are built differently. Look, all you got to do is pull up a basic school book and you'll see why we're different. That could make me the most hated man in the per you know in the world. Hey, it's per yeah, person in the world for saying that. And I'm okay with that. But again, I keep like what you have all the right to be whatever you want to be, but to go and when you have that playing in sports where you have a violent advantage in it, doesn't like make anything better for women. It actually puts them at a lower advantage. That's just me too. And all the racism. They're like, Whoa Trump was so racist. Biden's for them, like, the why did he pick, like, because they said he had to pick, a, like, not just female, but a, a minority female. Which is why Kamala got it, just like he wants this person to be the first Hispanic this, this person to be the first, you know, female this, this person to be the first transgender anything confirmed. Like, like, like it doesn't matter if they're best for the job, he's just picking them all. So they could have all these different people from all these different sectors and all these different feelings and ideologies and everything to be in everything. That makes it, like, the most you know, diverse. But the lady they picked to be the assistant health secretary, you know, the transgender woman from Pennsylvania, like they had terrible COVID. Everything. 
Well, I'm sorry, there are probably people that could have been much better suited for that job, but they didn't fit his, we're trying to get everyone in here, regardless. Like, and it's supposed to be the best person you could find for those jobs. Just the way it is. And again, I'm not saying they shouldn't have those jobs, but it shouldn't just be based solely on what they are. Because that's a form of, like, really, they're just getting this because of that. That's like a form of affirmative action and racism and everything else. Call me crazy. You can hate me. Well, comment. Tell me I'm a dick. I'm for it. Tell me I'm a terrible person. I am. I won't argue it. It's not worth my time, but I will tell you what I feel in response. But it just seems really, like, against what they're saying. In Like, in order to, like, I want to be united, but I'm just getting all these people just because of who they are, not because of, you know, the basis of if they're actually qualified to do it. Like going off about Pete Buttigieg, saying that he's the first openly gay person to ever be in a cabinet. Like, no. I don't remember his name, but Trump had one. And he got ripped apart all the time. But he was there. It happened. And Pete could do a great job. He doesn't have any experience in that sector, but he could do a great job. I have nothing against him being there as long as... He's the best person for the job, because that's where we're supposed to be going after. It shouldn't just be about, because you all well, you're this, so you're going to be this. Just to fit the bill, it's try to say I'm the most, like, you know, diverse. When it doesn't make you actually diverse about anything. And now, in closing of all this, I'd like to save what my thoughts are. What, nothing's going to get better. I already feel that just because there's so much division. And all they're doing is picking people just based on, you know, who they are, which, you know, isn't going to make anything better. It isn't. You can say it is, but you're an idiot. I don't like to make people feel smaller, but, well, just because you're picking someone because of what they are to be the first ever doesn't mean they're the best for the job and things are going to get better. Also, like, we're already, like, between the pipeline and the border wall, like, think of all the people that aren't going to be manufacturing those, you know, the pipes for it and the fence and all that in America anymore and all the people that work on it. That is a lot of jobs to get rid of a lot of jobs, a whole lot of them that are lost in the manufacturing, construction, like all that stuff, like energy, they're all gone. You know, like, just quote him, come on, man. Like, that's not like putting that many people out of work in your first like 24 hours doesn't help in the middle of the pandemic. So I think the unemployment rate's going to go nuts just because of him joined, rejoined the Paris Climate Accord. WHO, like, all these, is going to put all these new sanctions. It's going to, like, all these places are going to leave. Call me crazy. It's okay. It's what I believe. But don't expect that I'm not going to be there to give you the, you know, I will give you the told you so. And I'll also admit when I'm wrong. But I think it's going to be a very bad thing. Also, stopping the whole fracking, you know, gas oil. We're going to start buying it from state sponsors of terror, you know, Iran. Or... Russia, who has, is nowhere near our best friend, like to give them money when we can do it all ourselves. That's just going to help feed into them and make us worse. You know? Like, it's true. You can't deny it. I mean, you can. It's not going to make a difference to me. But if I hope I'm wrong. I really do. But I don't think I am. I don't think I ever will be. I just, like... And then he's proposing a gas tax hike. Like, who do you think that's going to affect? That's going to affect everybody, like truck drivers, regular people, everyone, which is going to make people that drive trucks for companies probably have less work because gas is going to cost way more on top of all the tax things. That, you know, you have to pay this much in tax, you know, tax increases and everything. If they get past somehow the $15 minimum wage an hour, like it's going to get worse. I could be wrong. I'm always wrong from what I was told growing up and everything, but where I'm crazy, it's conspiracy theory. But, you know, so far, like everything I said he was going to do so far has come true. So I'm just putting that out there now. I think there'll be another shutdown. But that all depends on how that strain works. I think, though, that the second if it gets here, they're going to. You know, it's not any more deadly. It's more contagious, but it's not any more deadly. Even, like, more people will get it. And, well, bad things will happen. So I think that's coming, too. So this is just a week... In review for me to come on Friday. Might start doing it every week. I don't know. But to see how you know, my feelings on everything and how things are going. 
and my opinions on them. As everyone says, it's my opinion. Well, there's you can look back at everything I said here, and there's fact behind it all as to how I feel. But we shall see. I hope for the best. I really do. Like, I don't want anything bad to happen to America. I was in the Marine Corps. Raised my right hand. The word of God to defend this, you know, country, the Constitution, everything. Just like all those other politicians and everyone else in the military does. So I hope nothing bad for it. I want it to work out. I really do. But I just have a hard time believing it. So we shall see. And again, I appreciate everyone listening. Like, comment, whether it's here, face, you know, here on Facebook, YouTube, Rumble, wherever. I'm under Rumble, I'm under Bearded Ski, I'm on YouTube, under Jesse Rosinski, same as in the show here. You can like and comment there if you don't want to be on Facebook. I just appreciate y'all listening. Like, but again, like, share, comment, everything. And until next time, peace out, people. Have a safe weekend.